to welcome you today to an episode of Senior Flicks. It's our Marvel Tales. And you're going to love today's uh, broadcast. We've got Bill Cool, who is one of the residents here at Shepherd Village. He has been here for over 11 years in the community. And Bill, today, I'm really glad to welcome you to the set of, of Senior Flicks. And Bill, tell us a little bit about yourself as we get underway. Well, my name is Bill Cool. That you friend of art already. Yes. And uh, I was born in uh, Amsterdam in, in uh, 1925. Wow, wow. So, in other words, I'm 96 years old. 96 years old. Yes. 96 years young. I yes. know you well. <laughs> okay. So, listen, you went through some interesting things back in those days. Tell us a little bit about, about the war from your perspective. Well, we're always thinking about the war in regard to people. And uh, the, the war that started for us in 1940. Okay. Uh, I was 16 years old that time, and it, uh, it made a big change. As you see, the thing is what, is what is happening here, that you don't know, they ask people, how, what do you th think it was in that time? Well, I was 16 years old, I was a teenager. Right. And when a teenager is, he, he doesn't care about what is going on. Right. But he, it, it's going to be a different if you're a mother or a father or a family. Yes, yes, absolutely. That was very, very different, of course. Now, you were living in Holland when it was occupied yes. by the German army in 1940. Tell us what that was like through your eyes. You already said it's not the same as being a mother or father, but no. it still had to have some real specifics for you. Tell me about it. Yes, because quite often we have to be careful what we do, what we say, and where we go. That, is, that was very important to us. Right. And uh, of course, uh, like my father, who was in the business, he uh, used to do travel quite often to uh, different places. So, uh, but and as a whole, in the first couple of years, it wasn't too bad. It was, you know, things were going, I can't, we, 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 we just lived down there. Right, right. But after the two years, and in the 1944 to 1945, mm -hmm. was a terrible, two terrible mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, I was, uh, but I was going to tell you that about that later on. Sure, sure. I had, was sent to Germany, right. and so why would I tell you that later okay, on? Okay, okay. But at this time, normally, we were doing all right. Okay. When, when your country was occupied by the Germans in 1940, uh, tell us about the impact. Like, the Jewish families and children were gone. Tell us what you remember about that. Yes, I do remember about that because I had friends that were Jewish, and so I knew that. And all of a sudden, they disappeared. Wow, just like that? Yes. Wow. It, it, all of a sudden, they were gone. Wow. And we didn't know where they were going. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you a little bit later on. But <laughs> I can't wait to the later on part <laughs> yeah. of this interview. Because, it's going to yes. be great. I, I know we know the stories, and the stories are well told about Corey Ten Boom, whose family yeah, right, hid. Tell right. us about that. Did you have any experience hiding families or anything like that? Yes. Wow. Uh, we had two people hiding in our place for a couple of days. Yes. Because they were good, good friends of my father. Okay, okay. And uh, so what happened there, we had four little kids on there in the house, yes, you know. Yes, yes. And little kids will talk. Yes. So so we could, uh, couldn't could keep the, those people in our place. They so. wouldn't be well hidden with the kids talking. No, no, no. Oh, that was probably a wise move. Okay, so talk to me a little bit now. Uh, you're occupied, you're, you're seeing like things differently as a teenager. Uh, Tell me a little bit more about the impact that had on your family, Bill, your mom and dad, the occupation. Tell me about that. Well, in the beginning, the first couple of years, we didn't have any problems. Okay. There was no... Right. Uh, you got to realize one thing, and most people don't realize that, but, but we have, as Dutch people, we are very close to the Germans. Yes, okay, okay. Uh, we were not very close to the Germans when they came as an army. Right, right. But we were normally were very close to the Germans. Okay, okay. So, huh. now yep. there was a story. There was a story of 
a villager or somebody shot a German soldier that you that you is that one of the ones you're going to tell us about? Yes. Tell me, I want to hear that story. Not yet. Baby, oh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> well, what would you like to share yet? What was the next thing you'd like to talk about? Well, I just wanted to, to realize that people uh, how it is to be uh, occupied. Okay, sure. Tell me about that. I'll tell you about that because yeah. I have the same feeling here now. Okay. 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 Because I can't go where I want to go. Ah, uh, yes. Right? Yes. Uh, I, I can't go. COVID has changed I, the world, hasn't that's it? That's right. That's right. Okay. Where, what do you want to share next? I was going to talk about share, that yes, shot. But... Something, something what, what happened. Okay, good. To me. Yes. Okay. In 1944, that was almost the one year after, before the war ended. Right. In 1944, I woke up on one morning and, uh, and looked out of the window and we could see nothing but German soldiers wow. around our place. Wow. Rounding up everyone in the village. Okay. The village is surround, it was surrounded by a canal. So the Germans had the village circled and we trapped and everyone, men, women, children, had to go on the street. Okay. Have your door open. Hmm. Your doors open. Wow. Everybody out. We go to the canal mm -hmm. because that is a the place uh, there. This, because this, the, the canal is around this, the, the village. Right. And we had to do. And we had to go to the canal, and everyone had to stand there. Right. By my mother, and had the baby in her arms, and my brother Pete, and, 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 and two other sisters. Okay. And they were about eight and ten years old. Right. The reason for all of this was there had been, a, uh, during the night, an accident. Okay. Incident, okay. I should say. Okay. A good German soldier was, was killed. Wow. And, but we didn't know anything about it when we woke up in the morning. Sure, sure. So we all got out. We all every out of the house and everybody to the canal. Okay. We waited down there. Men and women were, were standing up against the wall with their hands out in the air. Wow. Eventually, all the men and women boys had to line up and were marched under guard to Amsterdam. And that is That's about not a short trip. Yes. How far is it? Eight. Eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. Oh my goodness! Hope everybody was in good shape when that was happening. <laughs> yes, that's wow. Right. Okay. And we walked to Amsterdam, and we got walked into an, an, an well, uh, not an, an, a, a house or a place, but there was a, a, a place that looked like a, it used to be for. Cattle. Okay. And we had to move in there. Okay. And all those guys are about the 50 years old, and you know, had yes. to go in there. Yes. And we had to stay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Of course, this was an, an, an interesting, interesting thing to right. us. Right. Right. The thing was, we were not thinking about that we were going to go get killed. Okay. Because we didn't know yet that the. the our our friends and our uh, your Jewish friends had been yeah, sent there, eh? Yeah, but yeah. they but we didn't know why they were sent. Okay. okay. Uh, we thought that they were, were were going just going to work down there. Right. Yeah. Right. So get back to the villager who shot the German soldier. What what start? That's what started it. Yes. The roundup. That's what began it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Next day, yeah. we were in Amsterdam. Yes. We went on a train. Okay. Well, that was was a train that has no seats or no no uh, place to sit or anything. You're no, all standing no, no, in there. No, no, oh, and the boy. windows are all blocked and everything. Oh my goodness! But, but it was as well so that we talk about about it that we said, "Oh, I don't, I don't know where are we going? We're going to go." Right. So the train went on, and they went to Germany. Okay. There were about uh, that many guys down there. Okay, look at that. So. Let me let me hold, let me see that. <laughs> hold on. Wow, that's 
that's, r that's really a amazing. That's a picture of a 1995. Wow. Uh, the, 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 the wow, look at that. So you got together. Uh, of so course, we did not know yet that there were death camps. That's, right. that's the thing. So we were not thinking that it was going to be too bad. Maybe we had to go to work or something. Like right, that. right. And that was really so. But we went close, right over the border of, the, of uh, Holland into Germany. And, and, and we stopped. Okay. We have to get out. Stop. Let me ask you, stop you for a second. What Was it cold on the train? What were you wearing? Were you no, wearing no. shoes or what did you wear? No, I was wearing those things. And they were warm? Or were, are yeah, those oh, yeah. Warm? They're always warm. They're warm. You can wear, wear those things during the winter in a pair of socks and that's all. Well, I might borrow those. Yeah, I mean, okay. I do, yeah that might be something I start to <laughs> sport. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. So you're on the train, not cattle cars. You're on the train. They stop you. Yeah. Okay. And we had to get out. Okay. So they unloaded us and... And I became into a school. There was a little a little town down there, and there was a school. And there was no kids in there anymore. Okay. And that's where we were in. There was a bunch of guys in there in the school. Wow! Wow! And from there on, it was work. Okay. Uh, the thing is that we worked for the things that we, we didn't want to work for for the, uh, <laughs> you know, because. We had had to make some things that on the on the, the, the bridges down there, okay. and they we were making things that were well, actually were made so that when the Allies come there, uh, they can. It blow up the bridge, maybe, or right. something. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. So. So that's what they put you to work doing. Yeah. That's wow. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was, was not, was not a, well, let's put it this way, we, we did it, but we did it in, in a bad way before right. it was also, that it was concrete for them, and we put, put more sand in it than we put. Okay, <laughs> okay, so you tried to kind of wreck, right. wreck it, gotcha, That's right. gotcha, right. Gotcha. Right. okay, yeah. So what part of the war, was the war going strong or was it starting to come to an end? What part of the war were we at at this point? Yeah, just, just across. Just across from Holland. But I mean, the war is it is it going strong or is it starting to yes. come to an end for Germany? Oh, yes. No, no, it's no. A, okay, it's coming end to Germany. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so I was I was I was there. Yes. And I was going to to go to work the same as the guys. Right. And and I, and then of course we thought we thought in the beginning that we were going to a bad camp. But there was, there was no bad camp because they couldn't get us farther into the country anymore. Okay, okay. Why? Why was that? Well, well because it was the, two, the, the war was closing. Because they up. were loose. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And they knew that was coming to an yeah, end. Yeah. Okay. So we uh, <clears throat> we worked, and sometimes we did things that we shouldn't do. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but okay. it is. <laughs> Maybe the next time we have you back, you can tell us some of those stories. That'll be something to stay tuned with. But uh, yeah. we, uh, yeah, we thought that, well, after a couple of days we stayed there. Yes. We said, well, it's it's about time that we're going to leave. Okay. And okay. that's what we did. Okay. Uh, not the whole bunch. Yeah. Because there were not, not the, that whole bunch. Right. But, so we left, and we talked over over. But, how, where do we have to go? Right. So, well, we, we walked for about, uh, oh, three, four days. So yes. we went to a different village again, and they, they grabbed us again. And so, and we had to do something else down there. But they were... So these were all German villages. Yeah. They kept getting... Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And, and, yeah. And, 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 of course, the militaries. Yes. So we stayed there for a couple of days. And we left again because we thought maybe, and, and, and that time we went over the Dutch border. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And so, and so were the were the Allies breaking down the, the German uh, forces at that time, like they were making it possible for you to get away a little bit, or no? No, no, no. It was, it was just because we took off. Okay. That's, so a bunch of you just escaped. So we walked in Holland. Yes. For about five days. Okay. Before we ever home. Wow. 
And five, I walked five days on those things. Oh my goodness! The, not those things. They no, are, but they are too nice. Yes, but but other ones like <laughs> yeah, that. Yes, yeah. other ones like that. So yeah. you kept on escaping. How many times did you make a break like that? How twice, many? Twice. Twice. Down there. And then yeah. the last time you walked five days. Yeah, yeah five days. Oh and, man. And the thing is that we don't we don't realize we don't realize, but we had to get food. Yes. We had to ask people. You know. Yes. To, and what we did, we got three men together, and that's what we did. We walked, the three of us. Okay, and the three of you uh, stayed together? Yeah, we okay. stayed together. Okay, yeah, Because they were from the same palace as I was. Mm -hmm. So you knew them. So they, yeah, yeah and then we, every, of course, every day we have to knock on doors. Yes. For something to eat. And were they receptive because you were Dutch yes, nationals? Yes, were they pretty yeah, receptive? Yes. Yeah. But the closer we came to... There's the other part of Holland where there is no food anymore. Right. We're, we're forgetting where. Okay. That, okay. Yeah. At yeah. what point, Bill, at what point of this walking back, was that when the war ended during that trek for you? Is that when no, the war was, no? Was, no, no, no. It was it still a long ways away from 44, then. 44, yeah. Okay. Still 44, yeah. Oh, okay, another year. And wow. 40, 45 was a worse. Okay. Worse. Okay. 1945, of So worse. Tell, me, tell me between the escaping and walking back to your village, what other things stand out in your mind but that from that time? Is there something else that you want to tell us about today, or is it all kind of in the recesses of your mind now yeah, somewhere? Yeah, most of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I met a lot of people, of course, and a lot of good people, you know, that, that, that brought us in, and, and bar, farmers that we walked in, in, in the fire. Right. Yeah, there was, was, was a good time. But you know, we, we, sorry. we had only a couple of blankets, and yes. we slept. The three of us slept on the, 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 the three blankets. <laughs> are those other two gentlemen still alive, Bill, or are they gone? Yes. They're still alive. They're still alive. And where do they live? They still live yeah. in Holland. They still live. Do in you Holland, keep in yeah. touch with them still? Yeah, sometimes. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Yeah. What a powerful story of yes. staying together yeah. Yeah. and braving and, and winning against incredible odds. Yes. Wow. Yes. Well, Bill, you've said you've got some. Is there any other stories that you want to share before we before we wrap up our tales today? Anything else that's in your mind that you think I've got to tell them this? Or is that have we pretty much? That's pretty much okay. it. Yeah. Well, you said there's some stuff you're not going to tell us, and I know that people are out there in in senior flicks land just saying we cannot wait till Bill comes back <laughs> and tells us more of that story. Okay, it's going to be great. So listen, I want to okay. thank you today, All right. uh, Bill, you're for coming to senior flicks. Thank you for sharing. I know you better, and I'm thrilled to have got the chance to listen to you today as you recounted thank some you. of these marvelous tales. And uh, we thank you and look forward to seeing you again. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. We'll hope you continue to tune in to Senior Flicks as we have other great people like Bill who are going to share their stories and thrill us with the details of their life. Thank you. God bless you, Bill. Thank you. See thank you, you later. Yep. Yeah, bye now.